So our next project starts here in the land of free, terrible 2Js. <laughs> That's a big heavy engine. This is a uh, very crusty 2JZ, not turbocharged, so it's the GE, not the GTE. Anyway, terrible t crusty 2J out of an old Lexus, uh, but it's free. So even if it doesn't work at all, we can use it to mock up the build and then buy a better one, or I mean, in theory, it runs, right? So the story goes. This engine came from a running Lexus. Someone wanted the body, and so they just took off the transmission to make the price lower. Like I said, it's naturally aspirated, but even at that, it makes a good bit of power, and we can either slap a turbo on it till it blows up, if it works, or buy a better 2J and just use this to as a dummy engine to build the project with. Got out the crane scale so we can see how heavy this bad boy is. Heavy. Very, very heavy. I think that's the answer. Four eighty two. What's that? Four hundred and eighty two pounds. That's a lot less than I thought. It's not bad. <laughs> there she is. There she is. And the power's out, so that's why we're uh, yeah, dark in here. That's why it's dark. The power's out and it's winter, so it's what, like 3.30 p.m.? And it's already getting dark. Yeah. Welcome to North Idaho. <laughs> I mean, obviously it has no turbos and various other things are missing, but still, um, 482 is not bad for a sweet engine like this. Here she is, in all her glory. In all of her crusty, rusty, beautiful glory. Our next project, 2JZ lawnmower. Hey guys, we're gonna take a quick break to talk about the sponsor for this video, Raid Shadow Legends. Now Raid is an RPG done right. Now I know you've probably already heard about Raid everywhere, but there's a good reason for that. It is one of the top three ranked RPGs in the Google Play Store and it has just been nominated as a finalist for the Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. And the game is crazy popular. It has over 15 million downloads just in the last six months. Raid is a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions that you can use and personally customize. In Raid, you can gather knights, elves, orcs, and more. There are weekly terminants and events, fighting in the arena, running special dungeons, or just leveling up your heroes. There's always a way to compete and win extra prizes every week. There's a multi-battle auto mode. You can set battles to run in auto mode while you go do something else. Spend less time grinding and more time developing your teams and fighting the fun stuff. You can find me in the game under Grind Hard PC, and there's huge upgrades coming to the game in the next six months. So what are you waiting for? Go click on our special links below and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to, to start your journey. All right, now let's get back to building. That's the goal. I mean, obviously you've seen and or know how big a 2J is and you see how small this, well, actually it's a gigantic mower, but compared to the engine, very small. Uh, but, I don't know. I think we can make it happen. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. It's gonna be a hard job. Yeah. For example, this distributor sticks out pretty far. The, in, the air intake sticks out a long ways, but it, that will probably be different in the final iteration anyway. But like, 
this being the front, if the front of the engine was like say here, give or take, then we might just have to like notch out this for the distributor and then be able to leave the rest of it kind of intact. But let's just pull the hood off and set it over the engine and see what it looks like. First things first, gonna see how much she weighs from the factory. Yep, assuming it weighs less than 2,000 pounds. If it weighs more than that, we'll, we'll probably break our scale. So. Thousand. Twelve hundred. One thousand two hundred and thirty-eight. Yeah, well, that's pretty hefty for a mower. <laughs> We are digging in. We've found a ton of good parts so far. Yep. All of those ones there are definitely gonna be part of the mower when we're done. And uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and pull the engine out of it and just set the 2J on top and just kind of to get a feel for how big everything is. And I mean, if there's any way we can use part of this chassis, we totally will. Check out the clutch system in here. So. It's got a dual belt drive to this shaft here, which I believe just goes back and runs a hydraulic pump under there. When you push on the clutch, it just disengages the belts. It's so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. It'd be, it would be fun to restore it, but for somebody other than me, I don't have the patience for restoring things. Strip down the mower and the 2J to the bare necessities. And that's what it looks like. Doesn't fit under the hood super well. We had to take the distributor off, which is kind of important. And basically everything on the accessory belt um, to make it even sort of fit under the hood. So we'll keep exploring our options there. Maybe we'll stretch the hood. Maybe we'll do some magic, but... Yeah. I don't think any part of this is worth... Well, I wonder if it's two separate pieces. So before we get started tearing into the mower, uh, we have a very exciting pile of stuff here. This is a belt grinder from Ameribraid and it's gonna be awesome for fabricating brackets and parts and making everything even better. This is gonna make life so much better. Yep. Amazing. I mean, it's not even close to together, and I already love it. <laughs> I mean, just look at the, look at the stand. It's so cool. Just, it looks awesome. Super stable. Also, these little wheels. They've got like you can see on this one, you've got a wheel, and then you've also got this little pad that it's got this little spinner to raise it up and down for uneven floors and then to, and to lock it in place so you can... That's really good news for us. Yeah, because our floors are extremely uneven. <laughs> but then you can just spin that up and roll it around. Yeah. 
which is also good news because we have very minimal space. So we'll probably have to move it around to, you know, make room for everything. Got it all set up in no time flat. Yeah, it's incredibly well designed and easy to set up. Like, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Check this out. We've got a speed controller. So you can go super slow or psycho fast. Yeah. Find something to uh, test out here in a second. Um, but first, we need to show off the coolest thing there is. They engraved our logo into the pulley. It looks so good. Crusty piece of quarter inch plate. Nice. And then like big flat side all rusty. Yeah, or like this edge from the piranha is all like slopey and rounded. Now it's nice and square and flat. Game changer. Yeah. Knock some tubing real quick. working with a different size tubing, you can just pop that one out, grab a different size, throw it back on. Hey guys, sorry we couldn't get more done this week, but Ethan and I have been staring at that mower for it seems like forever now, trying to figure out how to make this work. We've thought, oh, we'll take out the 2J and put it in the Jag, and then we'll put a smaller engine in the mower. But the idea of the 2J mower is just too good. So we are gonna do it. We're gonna order some parts to get everything working, and then we're gonna make the next episode on this. So we are going to put that 2J into that mower. We need to cut some things up and rearrange some things to make it work. But we are going to keep as much as the mower as possible and next week is gonna be a super awesome video while we're waiting for parts. <laughs> I thought someone was following me. It was just Bjorn. Anyways, <laughs> while we're waiting for parts, we got a really cool video for you next week. I'll drop a little teaser for that right now. Thanks for watching, guys. You probably have to be patient on the mower build because we don't know how hard it's gonna to be to get this 2J going. But if you know anything about them, send some info in the comments. We're all open to any info. And also, we probably will be mounting this up with this one and then getting like a full-blown turboed variable valve timing 2J in the future for it if everything kind of all works out. So <laughs> thanks for bearing with us on this one. This one is definitely an experiment. And thanks again to a Mary Braid for that grinder. It is gonna make our production so much quicker and more accurate. Links to that is in the description. So yeah, I think that's everything. Here's a little sneak peek for next week. And thanks for watching, guys.